I've been talking about manufactured homes for years now. In all the years I've sold real estate, some of the most predatory lending practices have come from manufactured home loans. And it ends up costing homeowners thousands of dollars over the years. And one of the biggest confusions when it comes to manufactured homes is the type of loans that you can get for a manufactured home. And even in my own comment section, people will say, you can't use a VA loan if you're gonna get a manufactured home, which happens to not be true. But there's going to be some requirements that you need to know. And we're gonna be going through them today. So that way you can get the best manufactured home loan for your situation. And I will say some lenders don't even know the stipulations when it comes to manufactured homes. It's not that they don't know, it's just that they don't do a lot of those loans. I'm not throwing them under the bus. So at the beginning of every video, I have to explain the difference between a manufactured home and a modular home. And we're gonna go through this like I do every single time. This right here is a manufactured home. It's built in a manufacturing plant and it's built to HUD specifications and HUD standards. And many times you'll see inside the cabinetry, they'll have some kind of tag that gives you all the specifics. If it's not in the cabinet in the kitchen, it's going to be in the, what is it gonna be in the? Oh, the electrical box. And in most states, they require a license plate on the back. That is a manufactured home. This right here is a modular home. It's built to totally different specifications. It's in line with all traditional home building. It's also built in a manufacturing plant, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're gonna to be talking about the manufactured homes. So why is it so difficult for people to get the right kind of mortgage when they're buying a manufactured home? Well, there's many reasons why. First is because many lenders don't understand that the manufactured home is actually a home and can be tied to real property. In some cases I've seen where people have purchased a brand new manufactured home and had a lot that they already owned and they put the manufactured home on it. And then they got something called a chattel loan. A chattel loan means that the land isn't tied in with the manufactured home itself. The problem with that is you end up paying a ton in interest. And I don't want that for you. If you have a piece of land and you have a brand new manufactured home, you can tie those things together and make yourself real property. Now there's going to be requirements for each of these loans. So we're gonna be getting into that right now. Just like you're getting any kind of loan, whether it be for a car, a house, a manufactured home, your credit score makes a difference. If you have terrible credit, it, you're not going to be able to get a good home loan. Each one of these loan products is going to require a different credit score, but of course, the higher your credit score, the better the interest rate you're going to get. I just needed to point that out. There's various types of loan packages, but one that you may want to consider is Fannie Mae. The Fannie Mae's Manufactured Home Advantage, which allows buyers to finance a manufactured home for 30 years with a down payment as low as 3%. But to qualify, your home needs to be very specific criteria. For instance, the home must be at least 12 feet wide and it has to be attached to land. So you're not gonna be able to get one brand new off the lot and then put it in a leased community. And the minimum square footage on 600 square feet is pretty typical of a lot of these loan packages. Here's another tip. Not all loans are gonna require you to save for a down payment. Even though manufactured homes are very affordable, just always make sure you have a reserve amount of money for all sorts of other things that can happen during the loan process. You always want an emergency fund. Not only that, even if you're buying a manufactured home brand new, you're still going to want to have it inspected by your own inspector. That's going to cost you around $500. And there's always going to be an appraisal process that you're going to have to pay for. Those funds are going to have to be set aside. So even though you may not be required to have a down payment, make sure you have some extra money reserved for emergencies, down payment, and inspections. Another loan package is by Freddie Mac. Now their square footage requirement is 400 square feet. Now granted, they do have to meet the Freddie Mac requirements. So what are those? These requirements are very similar to Fannie Mae's. The home must be on a permanent chassis and it must be considered real property. The living square footage must be 400 square feet. So even though you may find a house that has tons of porches and if you look at the MLS, it will say, you know, it's, you know, 1200 square feet. They might be considering all the square footage. Make sure it's the living square footage that's at least 400 square feet. And if it's in a park and it's on leased land, you're not going to be able to get this particular loan package. Now let's talk about FHA loans, which is probably the most popular type of loans when it comes to manufactured homes. They're also the most common for first time home buyers that are looking to get into the market in the real estate game. So this is the one you really want to pay attention to. They have a title one and a title two type of program. Now the title one can be used to purchase a manufactured home that is not tied to land. There are a few stipulations though, such as the property must be the primary residence. It has to meet the FHA guidelines before it's placed in the rental site, and it must have all connected utilities. These loans tend to be shorter, time frames. So they're usually about 20 years, maybe even less. And those interest rates
rates are going to be a little bit higher than if it was actually attached to property. Now let's get into Title II with an FHA loan. A Title II can be used to purchase both the manufactured home and the land jointly. These loans cannot be used in mobile home parks or leased land. Mobile homes do not qualify if the requirement is being financed with a home that's built before 1976. And the reason why they will not finance a manufactured home before 1976, because before 1976, there was no guidelines on how these manufactured homes were built. And it wasn't until HUD stepped in and said there were certain specifications that these homes had to meet. Then that's when FHA decided to go ahead and make these loan packages. And just remember with a Title II, it must be attached to property. It cannot be in a park. So those are the two loan products that are offered by FHA for a manufactured home. With a Title I, you're not required to have it attached to a piece of land. You're going to have a shorter term and you're more likely going to have a higher interest rate. With a Title II, it must be attached to land. You're going to be able to finance it for even longer and you're most likely going to get a better interest rate. No matter what loan package you decide that you're going to be using to purchase your manufactured home, there's going to be some papers that you're going to need to have. One of them is your tax returns. You're also going to need your pay stubs, your W-2s, and any other proof of income. You're also going to want to let your lender know if you're paying any alimony or palimony or any child support. You're going to need a copy of your bank statements and other assets. They're going to want a copy of your credit history and in most cases they're just going to go ahead and pull up a fresh new one. If you're getting any money from a family member, they're going to want gift letters. You're going to need a copy of your photo ID and any rental history. Now here's the one that always people get wrong. They say VA does not allow for manufactured homes, which is wrong. They don't allow for mobile homes. Those are homes that were built before 1976. And yes, the VA will not qualify a loan that is a mobile home. So what are the requirements for a VA loan if you do want to use it? VA does require that the manufactured home that you're purchasing must be on land that's owned with the manufactured home itself. They have to be tied together. It has to be considered real property. Now, VA loans are available to veterans that qualify for active duty service members through the Department of Veteran Affairs. Now, why would anybody want to use their VA loan? Well, here's the thing. You may not even have to put down any money. And when you use a VA loan, you don't have to pay any private mortgage insurance. Just one way to get your payment down per month. To qualify for a VA loan, the home must be on a permanent foundation. It must meet the HUD guidelines and you must be purchasing the land underneath it if you're buying a brand new manufactured home. It all has to tie together. So when someone tells you, you can't use a VA loan on a manufactured home, tell them full pucky, yes I can. And you can tell them exactly the requirements that it takes. I had to come outside in my overalls for this one because everybody knows about rural development loans. Another loan product that a lot of people say, you can't use a rural development loan for manufactured homes. You can, but there is requirements. Of course, it needs to be attached to land. It has to be a certain age. It has a square footage requirement. And the reason I'm not being specific is because it's going to change and I don't want to get stuck with bad information. So if you do want to use a rural development loan, make sure you speak with your lender. Now, if you do do a rural development loan, I will tell you it will take a little bit longer than the traditional FHA loan because they have to go through the rural development underwriting and it's a government entity. And as you know, anything with the government is going to take a a little bit longer. Not in all cases. Sometimes they get through really fast, but other times they can take up to 30 days. And if you're buying a manufactured home that's already existing on a piece of land from a seller, please let them know that you are using a rural development loan that it could take a little bit longer than a traditional sale. And they're a good little package because you don't have to put as much money down. You still will have to pay PMI, just FYI. You still have to pay PMI for FYI. <laughs> Now, the next loan product is my least favorite, which is a chattel loan. Why is it my least favorite? It's my least favorite because most of the time that the interest rate is extremely high. The loan period for those manufactured homes on a chattel loan are extremely short. Three, if it's not attached to land and at some point somebody tries to sell the park underneath it and you have this loan on it and they kick you out of the park, what are you going to do? That being said, one of the best ways to get a manufactured home on a deal is to go to some of these lenders and ask if they have any foreclosed properties. Now you'll have to purchase them cash. And if you're really savvy and you can get that thing on a bed and move it to your specific property and fix it up, you can get yourself a heck of a deal for a really nice manufactured home. Just a little tip there. Now, if you found yourself a manufactured home and you've gone through every single loan product and you can't qualify for those, you may want to check out a personal loan. Here's the problem with a personal loan though. Your credit score still needs to be high. If it is bad, you're going to be paying up to 20% in interest. 
list. The terms of that loan can be all over the map, but you won't have to meet the same requirements that you would for all the other loan packages with inspections and appraisals. Once you get a personal loan, they just write you a check, but you could be paying up to 20% in interest. Ooh, Christina says no. Now, I know with all these home loans, for many of you, it's not gonna be even a possibility for you to get a manufactured home that's attached to land and you have to move into a park. When you go to these parks, I really want you to do a little investigating of them. I want you to find out how much their lot rents are right now. And I also want you to find out what do those lot rents cover and how much they go up per year. I also want you to get a copy of their covenants to find out what the rules are for that specific park. And if you can, try to see if you can find a park that is considered a cooperative. In a cooperative manufacturing, manufactured home park is a park that is owned by all of its residents. So the likelihood of being sold out to a investor is going to be very, very, very slim. They're very common up in the Northeast area and they're trickling down more towards the South. If you can find a park that's a co-op, that would be the best situation in my mind because I would know that the house that I just purchased and have put on this lot isn't gonna be sold out from underneath me in a few years. Now that you've seen all these loan products, I know that your next question is going to be, which lender do you think is the absolute best? Here's the thing. You could be anywhere in the United States and I could say one specific lender. And then you go to, into that lender's office and you meet with a person and they're a total idiot. There isn't one company that's actually the best when it comes to manufactured homes because there's always a person behind that phone or desk and those numbers. My best bet for you is not to look for a specific company, but is to look for a specific person that specializes in manufactured homes. This is one of those things you're gonna have to do your own homework. I will recommend that you go ahead and go to your local credit union or your local bank because they're gonna know your community better than anybody else. So which loan package is gonna be for you? Let me know in the comments section below. To watch more videos about manufactured homes, go ahead and click these videos right here. My name is Christine a small horn, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.